This is a Tesla Cybertruck custom RC car. Now I know this is a tech channel, but my uncle, I guess we're having Christmas and I wanna make sure that I get him something cool. He's a big fan of the Cybertruck, so basically I'm going to make him a custom, or I already did actually. And today I'm gonna to show you how I actually did that. But yeah, this is a completely custom RC car. I basically just took some of the bases of a really cheap car uh, that I got like at Target or something. And then we're gonna go through and actually show you how I built it. So it looks really, really like actual Tesla Cybertruck. See if we can just keep the packaging all intact too. Sad too, because it's a Supra. Also kind of sad that it, the Supra was so expensive. But that's just my little saying, I guess, in this. So what we got here. And this actually looks really good on the bottom. Like this is almost perfect. So you've got the whole entire RC base on the bottom here, which looks like it's got batteries, etc but the shell is really, really cheap and it's mounted. It looks like just a couple spots. So we can really actually get started um, by tearing this down. So I'm gonna leave the remote controller there. We should probably try testing it too, just to make sure everything works fine. But let's start taking the sucker apart, try to get just the base shell because obviously we don't need this big flimsy piece of plastic. We're gonna 3D print one. And so we're gonna basically go through now and 3D print ourselves one. So pretty much it was just time to take this apart. And to be honest with you, this was actually surprisingly, some of the screws were a little difficult, but it didn't take that long. Just unscrew like three or four screws and then had the shell. And this my friend is why I can't tell people to buy toys anymore. Literally how, look how flimsy this is. Like really, why, why even bother? Now on the bright side though, this base actually seems really solid, so. <clears throat> no concerns there. Actually really solid base. So I guess this warranty is already void now. So it's time to figure out how we're gonna 3D print this and start modeling this up in the software. This is actually a really nice truck bed. Um, we got a battery compartment on the bottom, which is actually gonna be similar to the Tesla Cybertruck. We might have different motors and stuff. We won't have the motor. Probably have dual motor, tri-motor, etc. Yeah, does this have any power in it? Oh, it does. That looks good. So what am I thinking? Well, first off on the sides right here, we have these wheels. Now these wheels <clears throat> actually are really nice because they're nice solid plastic, they're actually even higher quality than this, but they kind of still don't meet the requirement. So at least with the tires, I feel like the tires were decent enough that we can kind of leave those, they're rubber, they're decent. But for the actual, I guess you would say, the actual rims on these cars or on the Cybertruck, we're gonna need to make the, the 3D print those as well gonna make a completely custom car. So that's what we're gonna need to do. We're gonna need to, of course, model this out, 3D print this in sections as we did before, glue it all together, spray paint it, etc., <clears throat> and get ourselves a really, really nice looking car. So honestly though, on the bright side, at least this works and it, yeah, it works actually really good. Seems to actually be really strong too. And it looks like the tires might've come off a little bit too. So I might try to fix the tires, get everything working. And then, um, yeah, but no issues there. So basically what I did in order to get the model was I actually took the graphics card model from the 3D printing a Tesla Cybertruck graphics card and just used that, modified a little bit, and printed it. So next up I just let it 3D print and I actually ended up only needing to split it into two different pieces. I would have more footage of this but it's really difficult when I'm at school and this is printing while I'm at school and I don't feel comfortable leaving my camera on for like the 6 or 12 hours that it takes to finish. But I first started actually by printing the wheels. The wheels were probably one of the easiest parts. They're just a quick design thing. I simplified them down a little bit, but just printed them. And then I also went on to, you know, simplify down the model, change up the 3D graphics card model, and then finish that up, have that separated in two pieces, and then have that print in those two pieces while I was at school. So then next up, it was time to get to the painting process. I sanded down this a little bit. There were some rough areas. And then I also started by just taking some regular painter's tape and start putting that over the areas I want to keep black. Now I know technically the bed of the Cybertruck is actually silver, but for the purpose of this I wanted it just to really contrast with the silver paint that I was putting on, so I ended up putting the bed as uh, black and not having that painted. Now the windows I ended up uh, covering up as well, so we'd use the default color of the filament, and I also really didn't care about how the underside of it looked because we were just going to end up gluing that onto the, I guess, the base of the truck. As you see on, on to the right though, you can see that the wheel's printed 
And these are, as I said, a simplified design. They're not the exact same, but they were easy for me to do in the uh, 3D modeling software. So it wasn't that bad. Um, but overall, it wasn't that difficult to get everything ready. I just used basically a, a little box cutter to kind of cut up the pieces of tape so that they would fit the little areas that I wanted to be kept black. And overall, it actually came out really good. So then I pretty much just went through and spray painted. I chose like a metallic matte color though. I really like that. And it's actually the same color I used for the Tesla Cybertruck graphics card. But for this, it was just a simple one coat. Um, it was actually extremely cold outside. So I was just trying to get this done. And I pretty much just kind of spray painted over once and just really was actually happy with how it came out. So now it's time for one of my favorite parts of these kind of videos, which is peeling off all the tape, which is probably one of the most satisfying parts about this entire channel, is that when you make these videos and you print something, you paint it, this is, yeah, by far one of my favorite parts. And this is almost similar to like peeling off the plastic wrap on a new computer. It, it's literally very, very enjoyable. But for the most part, a couple things I would change though, is it looks like some of the edges didn't stick down quite as well as I'd like them to have. So, as you can see, I think on the truck bed, you can see that there's a little bit of paint that just kind of spilled over and leaked over. And I think for future reference, I'd probably maybe use some stronger tape or just kind of put a couple more layers to make sure it's really thick. Also, I think it kind of pooled back there, which may contribute as well. But for the most part, as you can see, it looks pretty good. And that little bit on the back, I'll probably sharpie over later on. So next, it was time to put the like 3D printed shell onto the base of the car, or I guess the RC part. And as you can see, I'm checking actually how much clearance we have. Um, I did measure this correctly, but I want to make sure that it's not pressed down too hard so everything fits properly. And then I'm going to take some super glue and kind of get in here and glue it all together. And as I said, the wheels do turn, so I have to make sure that there was enough clearance. I know I measured it properly, but there also had to be an important amount of clearance between each side. And I ended up actually having to trim off a little bit of the back of the truck just to make sure it would fit properly. But besides that, as you can see, you just take a little super glue on each side. And then I'll let it sit for a bit. I think I'll let it sit for about maybe like four or five hours when I did this. And then basically when it was done, I just did a little bit of testing to see how well it worked. Okay, here's the car itself. It actually drives really well. I had to do a little bit work of trying to adjust it so that the wheels would spin properly. But overall, we got the nice new special Cybertruck wheel rims on there. We've also got ourselves, um, yeah, the entire truck itself. And I'm not going to do this too hard, but... As you can see, it's a little noisy, but that's just the model that I ended up picking. Um, but yeah, that's the little Cybertruck. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much what the whole entire video is on. Now I'm going to go through and actually wrap this up and label this and put all cool labels on the entire... Well, I'll put that. Um, but no, I'll we'll put entire labels up on there and get this all working so it looks how it's supposed to in the box. And... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see how this all looks. And that, my friends, is the Tesla Cybertruck graphics card. This is, an, what am I saying graphics card? We already did a graphics card. Now that is the uh, RC truck. That is, yeah, I think that actually looks really, really good. <laughs> Surprisingly, that looks way better than I expected. So, yeah, that's that looks really, really cool. So that is the Tesla Cybertruck graphics card. Or, keep saying it again. We already did a graphics card. Star C car.